Did you know that there are thousands of books in this school library? There's a correct location for each book. And for all of us to be able to find the right book, we need to know the Dewey Decimal System. I can't find any books anywhere! How am I supposed to find anything? Nathan, there has to be a better way! Brandon, there has to be an easier way to do this! Gentlemen, fear not. There's the Dewey Decimal System. The Dewey Decimal System? Oh yes, the Dewey Decimal System. The Dewey Decimal System was created by a guy named Melville Dewey. He was born in 1851 and loved reading and learning new things while he grew up. He noticed that different libraries had books organized in different ways and thought it was difficult to find what he needed when he went to different libraries. So he invented the Dewey Decimal System. <sighs> Mr. Collins, you still haven't told us what the Dewey Decimal System is. Ugh, this sounds tough. The Dewey Decimal System is the way we organize books. The fiction books are in one section, while the non-fiction books are in another section. The books start at zero, 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 and they go all the way through. Oh, and they end at 999. The 000 to 099 section is about generalities. This is where you will find books on computers, aliens, UFOs, encyclopedias, newspapers, and so much more. If I can learn about computers, and I can learn about UFOs, this is awesome! The 100 through 199 section has books about ghosts, feelings, and emotions animal rights, in other books that relate to the philosophy and psychology section. I'm going to check out this section, because I like ghost stories. Brandon, the last time you read a ghost story, you had a nightmare about ghost kitties attacking you. Nathan! Why you gotta be telling everybody? <laughs> Come on guys, focus. The 200 through 299 section has books about religion. You can check out a Bible, mythology stories, or just learn about the religions around the world. Well, I like stories about Hercules and other mythology. The 300 to 399 section is about social sciences. This is where you can find books about social issues, money, the government, schools, folk tales, and fairy tales. Actually, this section has quite a few things people would find interesting. I see books in the Air Force, um, in the Navy, and the Marine Corps. Oh, I see books about the Titanic, police, and firefighters. The 400 through 499 section is about languages. Here you can learn how to speak Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, and other different languages. You have books on sign language too, right? We have quite a few books about sign language. The 500 through 599 section is about science and math. I like to read from this section because I can learn about insects, worms, volcanoes, stars, and the planets. What I like about this section are all the dinosaur books. Don't forget, Nathan. The Brontosaurus is the best dinosaur. No, the T-Rex is the best dinosaur. Brontosaurus. T-Rex. Brontosaurus. T-Rex. Brontosaurus. T-Rex. Brontosaurus. T-Rex. Brontosaurus. T-Rex. Gentlemen, no fighting. Both dinosaurs are great. And now you know where you can find more information about both of them. In the 600 through 699 section, we have books on people using science and technology. It's also the animal section. Here you can find books on inventions, science experiments, cookbooks, sewing and knitting, and so much more. Well, you said this was the animal section, so don't forget there's books about kittens and puppies. Yes, yes, and hamsters, gerbils, pigs, penguins, there are so many animal books in this section. Now, the 700 to 799 section is about arts and recreation. In this section, you'll find books about origami, painting, photography, and music. In this section, there are sports books, and I spy books, and I can't find the Where's Waldo books. In this section, there's snowmobile books, and baseball books, and monster truck books. 
In the 800 through 899 section, you'll notice this is the literature section. So if you need poetry, essay books, or even joke books, this is the section for you. Teacher sent me here to get a Shakespeare book last week. Well then why'd you come back with this joke book? Nathan! Okay boys, let's get back to business. The last section is the 900 through 999 section. This group of books is the geography and history section. If you want to know more about presidents, World War I or II, explorers, and about the different countries around the world, this might be the place for you. In the 900 section, I, I can find books on Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. I see books on Native Americans and Wisconsin. This is so cool. Awesome! Now you all know where the nonfiction section is and where all the books go. It'll take me a little while to remember where they all are, though. Nathan, the uh, ballerina books are in the 700 section. Come on, Brandon! Gentlemen! Mm. 